It's been well documented that the online for this game is in fact a pile of horse shit. However, I am going to embark on trying it out for myself. I know. It's a shocking idea. He's off the rails. He's got no clue what he's talking about. And you're probably right. This is this is going to be the single worst thing I've ever experienced. Race one. We're here in Belgium. Nothing has exploded yet. That's a very good sign. This is still looking absolutely fine to me. I don't even know what people are talking Wait, did that McLaren disappear? Hang on, wait. Whoa, 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 stop. Where the hell are those two back dots starting? Why are they starting at the, at the last corner? What? Oh, okay, okay. This is this is looking slightly like... Let's just dive into... We've run into the back of JSPS. There's a... Sp oh, my. What in the Christ is happening? We've spun. Okay, we've spun. That's all right. We've got a racing Viper behind. What is going on on the minimap? What is going on on the minimap? We're heading down towards Eau Rouge. I don't like what's about to happen at the top of this. We've got an illegal overtake. How have we got an illegal overtake? We were in we were in front of him before. What is going on in front of us? I'm just unsure as to what's going on at this moment in time. My eyes are not currently believing what is going on. We've completely straight lined the chicane along with that Force India to the left. Probably hasn't. He probably didn't even do that on his screen, let's be honest. There's literally, I don't know if it's just me, there's been, is there, is it me or has there been a yellow flag, no overtaking for the entirety of the race alternating with a green flag? Why were their cars levitating down the, the whatever, the, the straight, I can't even remember what straight is. That's the least of my issues currently. We're in sixth out of nine. And, I mean, I... What, what even? I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. We got an illegal overtake on a car that was behind us the whole time. And there's cars just matrixing down the back straight. Flying through the air. Getting abducted left, right and centre. Th this isn't lag. This isn't, this isn't just lag. This is AIDS. This is, I, what, what? All right, okay. Blakey748 has just set our 136 or whatever around Belgium. What? You put it on the world record list because it's about 20 seconds faster than everyone else can. I'm sorry, what am I witnessing? Is this F1 or Alien vs Predator? I just, he's, he's won the race. He's won the race after one. The race is over. The race is over. Okay, okay, wait. Let, let's just assess what's just happened, okay? You better be ready for some serious analysis and facts because I'm about to go all Gary Neville up in this bitch. So, Blakey748 has won the race a three lap race after one and a quarter laps for him, for him apparently, my race ended after one lap of a three lap race. That means he managed to lap me twice in a race where he didn't even compete, he didn't even complete two laps. J explain to me how you can lap someone twice when you yourself haven't completed two laps. Another fact, I have just finished a three lap race, two laps down. I, I, I'm, I'm bamboozled. I am absolutely... I'm sorry, this, I'm sorry, this just takes the biscuit. To be fair, there is never a bad time to go jean shopping. Story time, with Flying Nirangatang. Oh, hello there boys and girls, it's time for story time. Today's story is about a young child called Blakey748. All he wants to do is play F1 2015 without lagging through barriers and flying through the air. But instead, the game decides to put him in Australia instead of the actual race where everyone else is in Belgium, right? I shit you not. This Blakey748 was in Australia for this race, hence why the lap time was so much better. Just, let's just put this into perspective. The distance between Belgium and Australia is 14,883 kilometers, right? How in the God's name did Codemasters drop him off at the, at the wrong track? What, what flight ticket did they give him that he ended up in Australia instead of being in Belgium? Have you ever heard of this before? Pasta Maldonado wasn't even in the- Nah, I'm, ac nah, I'm actually done. I'm actually- I'm actually done. I actually can't be arsed. This is actually- I just can't even be arsed. To be honest, after a race like that, I just don't even see how this Chinese Grand Prix can even remotely surprise me in any way. Epic foreshadowing! 
Let's just go. Five lights are off. We're underway here in a very wet shine. I didn't even know it could rain in sprint mode, but there you go. It's absolutely belting it down here in China. We've gone up the inside of a racing Viper in the lead. We've gone massively, however, wide through turn one. We've been spun. We've been absolutely clattered by that McLaren. We've got a, we've got a warning for it. There's a manor off to the right hand side of the track. A Lotus going wide in front of us, but we've gone from third, oh, Force India spins, another Force India off, Lotus off, Williams spins, we've got an illegal overtake for passing a car that was spinning, I don't even care, this car, he's going so slowly, it's probably a ghost car, and the, the illegal overtake's gone, so clearly he passed us on his own screen, that's absolutely fantastic, brilliant stuff. Everyone else is ghosting around us, but hey, at least nothing absolutely ridiculous has happened yet. Coming across the line now to start lap two, we've actually made it up into second place as a racing Viper sets the fastest lap with a 152, and uh, down towards turn one, that fastest lap is actually swiftly beaten but <laughs> I'm actually, so I actually can't even be arsed. I actually can't even be arsed. DMAD96 Red Bull has done a 2.9 second lap time around China. Let's just let's just do some maths. The distance of the Chinese Grand Prix track is 5.5 kilometers. Now the time it took was 2.9 seconds. That is the same as 0.0008 hours. To work out the speed, you obviously do distance over time. So when you do 5.5 divided by 0.08, you find out the average speed DMAD96 Red Bull would have had to have been travelling to set that lap time is 5,670 kilometers per hour. I really want to know what your setup is. Suck your mom. So after an extremely eventful race, a guy who wasn't even in the lead has won the race. A racing Viper wins. We've gone from third to fourth through absolutely nothing. I'm sure that will soon become fifth, as it in fact does, and we come across the line to take sixth. It wasn't even sixth when I came across the line. It was fifth. I'm done. I'm just completely... Take me out of the oven, because I'm absolutely done. I can't even be bothered. On a serious note, thank you to everyone who joined. I put it out on Twitter and a load of you came in, so that was absolutely awesome. I'll be doing more of them in the future, but for now, I just need to get over what I've just witnessed, because I... What in the fuck?